Courthouse and uh, I'd like to introduce you to uh, our patient Stephanie and Stephanie came into us and now we evaluated her and found that she had some misalignments and some pressure on the nerve and which was causing spasm and ultimately symptoms so why don't you talk about the symptoms okay. that you were experiencing when you came in and then just your progress through okay. the treatment well um, when I came in I was in a lot of distress because I couldn't breathe very deep and I was having a lot of pain across the mid back and what we discovered was that I had I had had I'd been sick uh, prior to and had coughed uh, a whole lot and um, had been sick for about three weeks and had a cough that was just really bad in the beginning and then continued to cough. So what we discovered was that I had a rib out of place. Is that that's right? Yeah, from, from all the coughing. I mean, mm -hmm. especially when you do a lot of coughing. And you had bronchitis really yes. bad. <laughs> I did. A really bad case. And so in all that coughing, you know, and then not sleeping. Right. You know, the, the, and then you end up misaligning right. the rib. And we could pinpoint where it was and where the pain right. went. And then that's what was stopping you from breathing in. Because you, you, you couldn't get a full breath because of her. Yeah. And it actually felt a little bit like pleurisy in yep. the beginning, but it intensified <clears throat> so much mm -hmm. that I knew it was yeah. not that. I've had so many patients come in that they've been diagnosed with pleurisy. And you know if it's pleurisy, I mean, you're mm -hmm. going to get over it pretty quickly. Yeah. And then when they have it three weeks later, well, it's not pleurisy. Plus, when you have pleurisy, we can, you know, push into mm -hmm. where the ribs were. And when you have pleurisy, that's not going to hurt. And when we push on the other ribs, mm -hmm. nothing. We push on that one, ah, you knew where the pain right. was. So that's how we know exactly whether it's a rib was, yeah. out of place or pleurisy. But you, mm -hmm. that's a good point because we do have a lot of patients that get diagnosed with that. Okay, so we started so working we started on that. So we started working on that, and we, we did the ice. I did uh, ice uh, treatments through the week in between when I came in to see a Dr. Roadhouse. And I would feel better, and um, and then I'd kind of slip back. But eventually, it just continued to get better and better. And now I really, today I don't even have any across there. Mm -hmm. And you were able to move. Yeah, and moved really easy. Yeah, today. moved. moved but also easier. talk about your your singing in the choir. And stuff. Oh, the the most. <laughs> yeah, this was really pain, great. Yeah. yeah, the pain was one thing, but this yeah. is even more important, right? This is more important. <laughs> I I sing in choir and. Um, the thing that I've noticed, because over several years I've had a lot of bronchitis and pneumonia, so I think this has been a progression uh, of this getting really bad. And I noticed that I couldn't hold my breath. I couldn't take as deep a breath, and I couldn't hold the air in long enough to, to hold notes and things. And so when I was on the, the uh, exam uh, table, yeah. And he hit me in a certain place. I have to he say, you. he adjusted. He adjusted. Me. <laughs> I didn't hit her. <laughs> yeah. But went, but I was yes. on target. That's yes, what you he mean. Yes, he was yeah. on target. <coughs> and he he got the right place. And when he did that, it did shock me. I think the shock was worse than actual pain. Mm -hmm. But because um, it never moved like that before. That no. we, were, we got mm -hmm. a little bit, little bit, little bit, yes. and then all of a sudden it let loose. It let loose. Yep. And um, and I noticed immediately that I could take a deeper breath and that I am singing easier. And even, even last night at choir practice, I, uh, I tried to make myself notice that, that how much better it is. Mm -hmm. So that was improved uh, as well, and that makes me really happy. Well, pain is the motivating factor why people come in to see us, but sometimes things have been going on because we just saw you just recently, mm -hmm. you know. So <clears throat> all the the history of the bronchitis over several years, you probably miss, you know, sprung a rib or misaligned right. a rib or mm -hmm. during that time, <clears throat> but really didn't think much of it. Oh, I can't breathe as much. I can't hold my nose. Mm -hmm. But when the pain got in there, that's when your that's, friend referred you in. Yeah. And then when we adjusted, the pain got away, and now mm -hmm. all of a sudden you're breathing. So I'm breathing. The, it's I difference feel, mm -hmm. between pain relief and mm -hmm. then also increase in mm -hmm. function so we did both for you we got rid of the pain and now we got your function properly too and i'd just like to say this that i think a lot of times um when you get my age you you want to blame it on age mm -hmm. yeah. and think that it's not going to get fixed or that mm -hmm. it's just the way it's going to be and it, it it didn't it got work it got worked out yeah. so um <coughs> I, i'm really pleased and i'll come again and i'm not afraid to come and and, and I really got, trust you. Yeah, and you've got lots of friends and that, that have yes. you know, been coming here, and they right. referred you here and stuff. A lot and, of validation before yeah, I came right, in. Yeah. So. <laughs> so she did her homework and checked us out. But, you know, the, the um, we have um, um, a lot of patients, um, you know, that have had 
um, different types of problems. And one of the reasons we want to do this about you, because you also we, you also had a problem with your neck and we did real mm-hmm. good through that. But a lot of patients have rib problems and they don't know that a rib could go out of place. Right. So you want to kind of, because it's something that kind of shocked you. You knew we could mm-hmm. help with that because you had friends that right. came here. But you didn't know anything about the rib or anything like mm-hmm. that. So we want to kind of talk about about that because there's so many people out there that might have a problem like this. Right. And for some reason, in the spring and in the fall, you know, when it starts mm-hmm. getting cold and stuff like that, that, you know, <clears throat> that for some reason, you know, I don't know what the deal is, but we always have a lot of patients during those times. So if it's during those times, you have pain. Sometimes mm-hmm. it can be pain back here. It can come out on the front. It hurts when you breathe in. You know, mm-hmm. you know all those signs. That's usually a rib, and it doesn't right. take us long to figure out, like, you, when you told me about it, we went right to the, right spot, to the spot, and then we knew mm-hmm. what it is. So, yeah, exactly. well, I appreciate you doing this video because you're going to help some other mm-hmm. patients. And if you have any questions um, or um, if you have any comments, you can leave a comment on, on this video, or you can visit our website, roadhousechiropractic.com. Um, we have uh, information on there that tell you about what we do and other uh, video testimonials of other patients um, like Stephanie that got great results. So thanks for doing that.